What's up, Young Hollywood? It's your host, Austin Mills. Today, we are on the set of Undisputed on FS1. We're going to be hanging out with Shannon, Skip, and Joy. Let's go check it out. For the people that haven't seen the show, can you tell us what the show is about and what your role is? Well, basically, it's Skip and I in front of the cameras, and we're as if we're in the barbershop. Everybody knows when you go to the barbershop, you debate a lot of different topics from football, basketball, baseball. Sometimes we do uh, societal issues, and, and we go back and forth. Head to head, face to face, sort of blow for blow, in, in which we are debating the hottest sports topics of the day, no holes barred, and we have time to get deeper and deeper into the, the hottest topics that everybody wants to know about because we do have two and a half hours. My job is, and sometimes I look at it as a defense attorney in the prosecution. Some days I'm for, some days I'm against, but I'm never trying to convince Skip. I'm trying to convince the viewer at home that I'm right and he's wrong. Is Shannon ever right or are you ever wrong? I have never lost a single debate on Undisputed. And so he is always wrong, but he always tries hard and he comes well prepared. Even when he's wrong, he's right. He would just never admit that. He's like, I've, I've, I've not lost the show since you've been on here with me. He will never say I won. I mean, he's just that competitive. I mean, he just wants to win. It doesn't matter. I mean, and he's, it's always, even when the cameras are not on, it's a debate. So what's it like to be the moderator sitting between Shannon on one side and skip on the other, yelling at each other. You know, it's it's fun. It's it's you have to really pay attention to to what they're saying. It's high energy, and sometimes it can get a little testy and, and, a, and a little bit competitive. But at the end of the day, we're we're all really good friends. We do a whole lot of LeBron James on this show to a fault, in my humble estimation. Le Shannon Sharp, as I call him, is a LeBron idolater, a blind witness, and I have my issues with LeBron. So we go back and forth quite a bit on LeBron. So when I was in college, mm -hmm. I played basketball. Basketball. Right. And whenever I have a debate with someone else about basketball, I feel like I'm always right because <laughs> I played. Right. You played a couple of years in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Skip never played right. football. Do you feel like you have more credibility when it comes to that? Well, I, I, maybe with X's and O's. But he, when you cover the game as long as he has, he's been around the game for 40 plus years. He's been in a lot of locker rooms. He's talked to a lot of head coaches, a lot of players, a lot of offensive coordinators. So he knows what he's talking about. Now the X's and O's, the the, the makeup and what the diagram of the play and the defense is, what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah, I, I would I would like to think I'm a little bit more more knowledgeable in that that situation than he is. But Skip knows the game. You can't be around something for 40 years and not know it. Your brother is in the NFL Hall of Fame. Does this kind of make you feel like you know football really well and you does it are you ever eager to make football comments? Oh yeah, I mean I love football. I obviously he's been playing football since I was 4 years old. Being around him and being around football at every level from high school all the way up through, you know, a Hall of Fame career uh, definitely showed me a different side of sports. You know, you get to see the personal side of it, how it really things like trades and getting cut and training camp and things like that actually affect players. Chris, there's a lot going on right now. There's TVs all over the place. You've got people in here. What's going on? Well, basically, we're trying to make Skip Shannon and Joy look good. So we've got graphics, we've got video, posting things to social media. Basically, we're trying to handle everything during the show while they go out there and do their thing. I know a lot of the work goes into the show that people don't get to see. How hard does everyone work in here? Well, most of us are here about 3.30 in the morning. So I think that kind of answers the question. I've seen on your Instagram that you post a lot of shoes. I do. Do you consider yourself a sneakerhead? Quasi. Um, I used to collect a lot more. I used to collect, and some of the stuff that I do have, I don't wear. I try to go for the things that I'm not going to see when I walk down the street. I'm not going to see on five, six, seven different guys' feet. Is there anyone out there that can out-debate you? Magic Johnson once called me the Michael Jordan of debaters, so I, I'm afraid there isn't anyone. Okay. If I'm Michael Jordan and he is obviously the greatest player ever in any sport, then I, I think I, I'm not sure there's a rival out there. If you sat in the hot seat that Shannon sits in every day, I, I think you would melt fairly quickly. And I do admire Shannon because he is my toughest opponent ever, and that's not even close. This is the most important question. Have Skip or Shannon ever admitted that they've been wrong? No, and they won't. <laughs>